Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a retro review, and this one is of the Power of the Jedi line, and it is a Mon Calamari. I think that's how they have it, right? Yeah, just Mon Calamari officer. As you can tell, the bubble is a little bit yellowed, but no problem, because we are going to free him from his plastic prison today, as we do in the retro reviews. So this is a Power of the Jedi line, which looks really similar to the green Power of the Force Wave 2 line, just because of the green and yellow. But you'll see the difference being Darth Vader with Obi-Wan as the combination to try to pull in both trilogies um, as, you know, we start in the new prequel era. Um, so <clears throat> that was the attempt with the art there. Uh, Power of the Jedi, I feel like, wasn't a huge wave, like, compared with, compared with Power of the Force. Um... So, I just feel like they just produce less figures, but you do get a really nice array of both um, original trilogy and episode one figures at the time, which I, I did I did like with this. So, it comes with a little fact file, which is always fun to get, um, and it is part of collection two. It doesn't say the, the number of the character it looks like, but on the back you can see the wave, like I said, with a good collection of both original and prequel trilogy characters. I love when they displayed the waves, so you could check off who you had, you could keep the card back. They also have available fall of 2000 and available winter 2000. Oh, that denotes the kind square versus circle. And then it says that the figures are subject to change. Um, interesting that this one has a reprinted barcode. This is a sticker on here, so maybe something was wrong with the previous barcode. But it does have 10 Jedi Master Points, which is interesting. And you could also join the Jedi Quest Kids Club, which is really neat. And there is a small bio Back there as well. So let's go ahead and open this figure up and we will take a closer look at him. All right, here he is, but before we go on to him, I do want to mention his little fact file, which is fun. They're always nice to look at, especially back in the day before internet where you could just go look stuff up. You wanted to keep these so you could see information about your characters. So really cool. It's probably too bright to see. It's going to reflect the other side, but it gives uh, ski uh, skills, gear, tech, statistics, uh, aliens and enemies, adventures, and then talks about the Mon Calamari, Join Free Jedi Quest Kids Club um, for the year 2000. So pretty cool. Again, I always keep these. I like them. Shows a sign of the times, so there's that. So here we are with our Mon Calamari, and I think he looks pretty good. Um, we'll get into some of the negatives. If you saw him in the package and saw some of the little bits, like they looked like salt in the packaging, that is actually dissolved tape. Um, as you know, if you collect older figures, the tape and the rubber bands rather just kind of deteriorate. I don't know if they've really fixed that problem, but it is something to keep in mind if you're an inbox collector that like tape ages not so great. So I don't know, just something to think about. But here he is in his three and three quarter inch glory. And he looks pretty good. I can't expect a whole lot of these figures, you know, a whole lot from these figures back in 2000. This guy definitely seems like he probably could have been updated a little bit. He looks like a Power of the Force figure. Um, the the little torso section, the hip section, is the where it really gets me because there is a huge amount of gap uh, between his thighs here and then his torso and his legs. He just looks very awkward in that way. Um, they definitely could have refined that design to be a little bit better. But yeah, his legs look like they're not at all connected to his torso whatsoever, and it gives it a very, very strange look. Um, he is pretty plain, but it's really nice to have another Mon Calamari. His helmet does come off which is neat, so you can actually get two of these, just slam one with the helmet, one one without, and it looks like you have a couple of calamari, Mon Calamari guys. He does also have the very specific looking, like, uh, they have very stylized blasters, as you can tell, and it fits nicely in his hand, so not too bad there. He is going to have his little officer rank as well, and he's going to go great with Admiral Akbar, whether you have a new version or an older version. It's also, like I said, really nice to get Mon Calamari in general. I think it's very cool. I must say the detail on this guy's face is really good. I don't know how, how well the camera picks it up, but like he has really, really, really interesting detailed wrinkles on the face. It looks very realistic. I like the be uh, the eyes. They're not just painted on. They look like little plastic eyes. So that attention to detail is really, really nice. Hopefully you're able to, you know, pick it up on the camera. It looks really good. I do like that. Um, he also does have some spots on the arms, which is part of, I think, the Mon Calamari, but it just reminds me of liver spots, to be honest. Um, and then the other funny thing that really gets me just the way things are is this guy's wearing straight-up tennis shoes with laces. It's hilarious. He's, like, wearing tennis shoes, but he's in Star Wars, so I don't particularly see him with his little flipper hand being able to tie his own shoelaces, but they are straight-up sculpted on. 
it's that's just I don't know it's funny to me but anyways I do like this guy quite a bit he's very nice I'm very excited to put him with my rebel alliance figures on my shelves um, and he's not too bad. He doesn't have to be crazy posable because, you know, he's just like a background character, which I do like that they, that they, you know, made, but he's a pretty much vanilla pose guy, and I am not worried about that. I think that's just fine. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below about this guy, and thank you as always for watching. Until next time, I will see you guys later.